The year was 1929. America, swaggering from a decade of prosperity, was about to be brought to its knees. The stock market, a symbol of the Roaring Twenties optimism, crashed spectacularly. This event, known as the Great Depression, cast a long shadow on America and the world. Millions lost their jobs, homes and hope. It was a stark reminder of the fragility of economic systems. The seeds of the Great Depression were sown in the years leading up to the crash. Overproduction in agriculture and industry led to falling prices, hurting farmers and businesses alike. The rampant speculation in the stock market, fueled by easy credit and a get-rich-quick mentality, created an unsustainable bubble. Margin buying, where investors borrowed heavily to buy stocks, magnified the eventual crash's impact. Consumer debt, another ticking time bomb, had reached record levels. People had grown accustomed to living beyond their means, buying appliances and other goods on installment plans. When the economy soured, many found themselves unable to keep up with their payments, leading to defaults and further economic contraction. The immediate impact of the Great Depression was devastating. Unemployment skyrocketed, reaching a staggering 25% by 1933. Millions lost their jobs, their savings and their homes. Breadlines, a poignant symbol of the era, became a common sight in cities across America. Soup kitchens and charitable organizations struggled to meet the overwhelming need for food and shelter. The banking system, already weakened by bad loans and the stock market crash, went into a tailspin. Bank runs became commonplace as panicked depositors rushed to withdraw their savings, leading to a wave of bank failures. The collapse of the financial system further choked the flow of credit, deepening the economic crisis. Section 4, a new deal, a new paradigm, rebuilding from the rubble. The Great Depression demanded a bold response and President Franklin Delano Roosevelt's New Deal aimed to do just that. This series of programs and reforms sought to provide relief, recovery and reform to a nation in crisis. Public works projects put millions back to work, building roads, bridges and other infrastructure. Social Security, a landmark achievement of the New Deal, provided a safety net for the elderly, unemployed and disabled. The New Deal fundamentally reshaped the role of government in American life. It ushered in an era of greater government intervention in the economy, with regulations aimed at preventing another such crisis. Although the New Deal did not single-handedly end the Great Depression, it provided crucial relief and laid the foundation for a more stable and equitable economy. Section 5, Echoes of the Crash Regulations and Reforms that Reshaped Finance The Great Depression exposed serious flaws in America's financial system. In response, a series of landmark regulations were enacted to prevent a repeat of the 1929 crash. The Glass-Steagall Act of 1933 separated commercial banking from investment banking, aiming to curb speculation and protect depositors' money. The Securities Act of 1933 and the Securities Exchange Act of 1934 brought greater transparency and oversight to the stock market. These regulations, though controversial at times, helped restore trust in the financial system and laid the groundwork for decades of relative stability. They reflected a growing consensus that government had a responsibility to regulate markets and protect consumers from predatory practices. Section 6. Lessons from the Abyss, the Enduring Relevance of the Great Depression The Great Depression serves as a stark reminder of the importance of understanding the past to shape a better future. It highlights the dangers of unchecked speculation and inadequate regulation. It underscores the vital role of government in providing a safety net and promoting economic stability. The lessons of the Great Depression are as relevant today as they were nearly a century ago. As we navigate economic uncertainty, it is imperative to remember the hard-won lessons of the past. Like this post and subscribe for more content on financial education and history.